Hello, YouTubers. This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to fix sync with most videos. Now, before everybody jumps on the bandwagon and goes, Oh, I'll make tutorials too on that. It's like, stop it right there. Just stop right there. This isn't some sort of special tag where everyone has to intertwine and add their two cents into it. This is just basically to help out a YouTuber. But, okay. I pure bun X or X I pure bun X. There we go. Basically asked. By the way, if I mispronounce your name, I apologize. But anyway, asked basically how the hell do you fix the sound on a Pinnacle 12 or in any program for that matter? And it's, it's something that they were having a lot of problems with. As you can see right here, this video I just showed off intros, and they were they felt like it was a good video, so they said, hmm, this guy seems like he knows what he's talking about, which half the time I probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about, but in this case I do. They basically wanted to ask me, can you make a tutorial to show how to do it? And I don't mind helping people out at all. So, okay. So first things first, I'm going to help out iPureBun. Okay. So in Pinnacle 12, you're going to have your video, whatever you recorded. It should be a good one. First, you got to see, make sure the video works. As you can see right there, that's the BIOS boot up for Microsoft 360. But, alright. We're just going to use that because it's sort and sweet and right to the point. Now, a little thing I like to do with this, and to get right to the point, is I like to grab it again and drop it down there. Now, of course, you're thinking, what the hell are you doing? I'm just going to overlap the picture. That's correct. It's going to do that, but however, it makes it easier, and you just hit and copy and paste and all that crap, and it's, you know, it's basically a dummy's way to do it. So, what you want to do with this is this is really simple as pie, and this will get right to the point, is you can either go like this or like this. You're probably wondering, huh? Well, basically... If you're decent into knowing how to listen by ear and not having music in the background blasting like crazy, like most people play like metal or something like that that's loud or some sort of trance music every time they edit videos, that drives me effing crazy. I have to have it completely silent. I basically mute everything else on my computer just so I don't hear anything because it drives me up the wall because I hate editing with audio. That's one of my that's one of my, that's my Achilles heel of all editing is audio. But okay. You're going to have two of these here, the equal clips. And just pay attention to that bar right there because it's obviously going to be somewhere here, magical. And you can do it just like that. What happened to the uh, picture, you ask? Well, now you basically made a sound clip or a for this timeline or this line. You can basically drag and drop this wherever you so choose. Now, you can save this solo, or let alone save this as an audio clip. But anyway, just thought I'd show you how to do that. And just to fix it, you just go like that. And you just obviously, if it was out of sync and you have like, you know, the symbol here, the Xbox boot, boot up ball of doom. I don't know what the hell it's they even call that the X ball or something. I don't, I don't know. Microsoft never explains themselves too much. It just expects you to buy all their products. But okay. Basically, say for instance, see the ball, this is out of sync. What you do is just look at the time bar and study that where exactly that noise at exact time on that bar came from and you just sync it up with the picture. That's all you do. Pay attention to the lips if it's talking. You pay attention to the sound effects, whatever's around on the picture. It's it's really easy as hell. It's like once you figure it out, it's easy. And also a bonus tutorial how to make it full frame if you're using um, widescreen. You just zoom the frame. Unless you like really want to particularly keep everything in the frame, then just get rid of it. Drag and drop. And this is sort of a bonus little tutorial as well. So yeah. Okay. You can have this little picture in picture. That's cool. Drag drag it. And there you go. Should be full screen. So pay attention right there. There we go.
pretty cool, huh? Well, anyway, that's the little tutorial. Did two for one. Someone also asked, how the hell do you do picture-in-picture? Picture? It's really easy. You just right-click, clip properties, go in there, blah, 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 drag it yourself. I can't hold your hand with that, obviously. you got to do that your damn self. But, anywho, I hope that helped you guys out tremendously. Pinnacle Studio 12 Ultimate is really such a dummies version of mostly all video sharing things out there. It has also has its own little advanced features as well, which of course it it basically makes it very easy for people who like to edit like video game cap footage and all that and it makes it look HD, you know. Obviously you got Vegas and all that stuff out there that's pretty great too, but you know what? I like something simple, I like something right to the point, and I don't need all this extra stuff. I don't have an HD card, so therefore I don't care. But any which way, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any more questions, please feel free to contact me through the comments. Take care, everybody. And yeah.